So, today we are going to study about wave optics that is the legacy of Huygens wave theory of light. Now, before that let us have a brief, brief introduction of the evolution of light that is the theory of evolution of light how we have developed corpuscular theory and how wave theory and finally, that wave particle dualism. So, we have two categories of theories corpuscular theory and web theory. Now, the founders of corpuscular theory were Descartes and Newton. So, first Descartes developed corpuscular theory and Newton approved that theory in his famous optics books and so corpuscular theory was very popular and generally the corpuscular theory of light is attributed to Newton because of his stature. Now, here web theory was introduced by Huygens and also Hooke, Hooke also contributed in this, but since Newton was an authority. So, corpuscular theory was popular. Now, Newton studied Descartes corpuscular theory as well as Huygens web theory, but somehow he was inclined that since light follows rectilinear propagation of light. So, corpuscular theory is more appropriate than web theory. Later on some workers like Fresnel, Fresnel worked in this field and Fresnel Huygens web theory was very popular and it could explain the new phenomenon of interference and diffraction and web theory became more popular than Descartes. Later on Maxwell was able to prove that light is an electromagnetic wave and so the web theory of light was fully developed into a electromagnetic web theory. Next again here some workers like Einstein, Einstein, Compton, Compton they also did some work on light that is photoelectric effect and Compton scattering and proved that light has a photonic picture not exactly corpuscular theory, but photonic picture and so the particle character of light. So, these were the chief contributors in studying the particle character of light that is corpuscular character and these workers gave the web theory of light. Later on both these ideas was mixed in web particle dualism which we will study in modern physics. This was done by Louis D. Bowie wave particle dualism. So, in the previous chapter we has completed Maxwell's electromagnetic waves. Now, we will concentrate on the wave theory the work done by Huygens. Now, before developing Huygens wave theory let us be familiar with some basic terminologies we which, which we will be using in wave optics that is what is a wave front. Now, what is a wave front? When we drop a pebble on a calm water surface then we see that circular ripples is produced on the water surface. So, these circular ripples are called wave front the wall of the wave will be called wave front. We write it like at it is the locus of all the points, it is the locus of all the points which are in same phase and has same amplitude. The locus of points which are in same phase and has same amplitude is called wavefront. So, you see example 
there can be a numerous example circular wave front circular wave front. Now, when we drop a pebble on the calm surface, then there will be circles of depressions, all the points on this here are depressed and all the points on this circle are elevated. All the points lying on this circle we feel that has a somewhat higher level than the nearby surface and so we call this as circular wave fronts, wave fronts. So, all the points on this circle have the same displacement from the adjacent free surface and they are moving with the same velocities outward, they are in same phase and same amplitude. Now, this is the wave front and the wave propagates along the normal to the wave front. So, this is the property of wave front that the ray will be always propagating normal to the wave front, this circular wave front. Similarly, we can have spherical wave front, spherical wave front. What is a spherical wave front? Similar to circular wave front, it is a two dimension. If we have a point object and that is a point object source which is emanating wave in all directions, then in a homogeneous isotropic medium, the wave front will be a spherical wave front. So, the wave front, the wave front emitted by a point object, point object in a uniform in a homogeneous, homogeneous isotropic medium. Isotropic means the properties are same in all the directions. Isotropic medium the wave front emitted by a point object in a homogeneous isotropic medium are spherical wave fronts. These are spherical wave fronts. Now, when the spherical wave front grows at a large distance, a portion of the wave front can be approximated as a plane wave front. So, you see this is a spherical wave front. I am drawing in two dimension. So, this is a spherical wave front, spherical wave front, wave front. Now, at a large distance, a part of this will be a planar wave front, can be approximated as a planar wave front. So, this is plane wave front. So, we live on round earth, but we never feel that we live on a round earth. We feel that we are on a flat surface, because our horizon when we are on the surface of earth we are on a part of this plane surface. So, this is a small part of this big sphere, so it appears to be a plane wave front. So, when we are talking about a part of a sphere that can be approximated as a plane wave front. Similarly, we can have a cylindrical wave front that is cylindrical wave front. So, in a homogeneous isotropic medium, suppose I have a linear source, linear source. These points are linearly distributed and they cause a disturbance into the system. So, the waves originate from here. So, you see they form a cylindrical wave front. So, this is cylindrical wave front. So, all the points on this cylinder are in phase. 
this is cylindrical wavefront now at a large distance for this cylindrical surface also we will have a planar wavefront so any so i am drawing a three dimensional view now so this is again a plane so these are planar wavefronts plane wavefronts plane wavefronts cylindrical wavefronts so at a large distance a portion of this behaves as a plane wavefront so from this discussion the geometry of wavefronts will depend on two things the medium how the properties of the medium varies with space and the nature of the source